Good evening everybody, Orin J here with another War of the Visions Guild Wars video, and today I want to talk to new players about how they can help their guild succeed in Guild Wars. One thing that I've found while talking to players is a lot of them feel like, hey Orin, I just joined a guild and I don't feel like I'm contributing in Guild Wars. I never collect any stars and I just feel like I'm getting carried. So what I want to talk about today are my three key points for your offense team on how you can improve your performance in Guild Wars and not feel like dead weight. So I want you to focus on your strongest offensive characters instead of trying to build a balanced team. I want you to focus on raw killing power. Look for maybe your range characters or your magic damage characters and we're going to put those into a full offense team and maximize their potential. One way that we're going to do that is by proper target selection. So remember, you're making an offensive team here and you need to look at what you can get your offensive characters to just blow off the board um, for the other team. So what you're going to want to do is first look for a target that is weakened already. Maybe they only have one character left or two characters left, but that's still something that's going to have to be dealt with. Now you, as the new player, might not be able to hit a full strength enemy team and win and you might be getting frustrated because you keep running into these teams and losing and you're like oh i got zero stars again today this sucks well this is a way for you to be useful with your first attack you can hit an enemy team that needs to be cleaned up secure those stars for your squad and then move on to step two which is revealing another squad on the enemy team what i mean by that is find a strong squad on the enemy team and whatever you have left from your first attack just throw it at them let's take a look at an example of what i'm talking about so you've made your team it's full of offensive firepower but you're like i don't know if i can trade with another full squad you open up your guild wars window and this is what you see you see a bunch of Whaley characters who you're like, there's no way I can go smack one of these rank 118 characters with that Engelbert stare being in the face. What can I do? Well, if you notice in the middle, there's that rank 93 guy who's missing his Gilgamesh and his Sid and his Engelbert seem to be running out of TP. That guy looks pretty vulnerable. Your full offensive squad are going to be able to remove those characters before they can close the gap and auto attack you to death. That is the perfect target for a new player right there. You're going to be able to secure two stars and then have something left in the tank. So now, take everything you have left in the tank and throw it at one of those Whaley characters that you didn't think you had a chance against in the first place. Whatever you have remaining will do as much damage as they can to that player and it will weaken them. Their Engelbert will blow some skills, maybe they have an Ayaka and she'll limit break, something like that and it will make that target so much easier for someone else on your team to clean up. And that's really all there is to it. It's a simple strategy focused on making yourself a team that can do the most damage possible finishing off a target so no one else on your team has to and you win your first fight and then weakening a second target so your stronger guildmates will have an easier time finishing off the enemy guild. I think if you follow this strategy you will find um, you'll be less frustrated in guild wars and you'll find that you feel more um, valuable for your guild. So I hope that was great. I hope everybody enjoyed that. Um, this was a new type of video for me. Leave me some comments, tell me what you think, and I hope you all have a great rest of your evening.